Hi, my name is Tega. Nice to meet you. What is your name? Um, Aliana. Early literacy skills form the basis of a large part of children's future learning. But children entering preschool and kindergarten come from linguistically diverse backgrounds, affected by many factors, including their family's cultural origin and socioeconomic status. Therefore, it's important to create personalized solutions for promoting early literacy. What was your favorite story so far? My favorite story it was the, um, the bunny one. Using a social robot as an embodied AI agent provides several advantages. Studies show that early literacy development requires exposure to a rich variety of spoken language and vocabulary during social interaction with others. Children engage with social robots in an emotive and relational way, and the affective cues that social robots can elicit from children provide a better opportunity to assess their engagement states. Our reinforcement learning personalization policy takes full advantage of these engagement cues. The robot's goal is to learn an action policy that maximizes the chance for each child to learn new linguistic knowledge while also promoting engagement. During the robot's storytelling, the robot models the child's listening behavior based on several features, including whether the child responds to the robot's question. What would you see if you went to a rainforest someday? Um, lions? The length of the response, and also the child's facial affect cues during the robot's story. The robot's action space is the lexical and syntactic complexity of a sentence in the storybook. The reward function is a weighted sum of engagement and learning. An pond. The reward function was designed to reward new lexical and syntactic learning, but balancing this with engagement so that the algorithm doesn't always select a story with the highest linguistic complexity. Over the course of three months, we studied 67 bilingual and English language learning students from 12 local kindergarten classrooms. Students were divided into three balanced groups. The personalized and non-personalized groups interacted with our social robot Tega in a fully autonomous interaction in which the robot and child took turns telling stories. The robot either personalized its story choice or selected from a fixed curriculum. Children in the baseline group only participated in pre and post tests without robot interaction. We found that the story selection policy did personalize to each child over time, shown by the root mean square distance from the initial policy and the rate of matching maximum reward state action pairs in the queue table between two policies. Children who interacted with a personalized robot learned and used significantly more target words compared to the non-personalized and baseline groups. We also found that children's engagement cues are significantly correlated and that this trend was driven by the personalization condition. At the crest of the hill stood a bear blinking blearily outside his cave. They went to the crest of the hill and found a bear standing. And he saw a bear and he was really scared, so... Children in the personalized condition attempted to answer the robot's questions more often, and this tendency was also reflected in their affective arousal cues. Analyzing children's electrodermal activity and body pose revealed that children in the personalized condition showed significantly higher attention and engagement levels throughout the sessions. With a relatable social robot companion, we have demonstrated that when we match young students with a learning partner that can grow and engage with them, those students flourish. In the fall of 2019, we plan to install our robots in kindergarten classrooms as part of their regular curriculum to study the long-term social impact of personalizable AI and robots. I'm going to leave it at math. Okay. Okay.